all my amazing Disney Imagineers. Before we start this video, before we this, excuse my excuse my English. Where where am I? <clears throat> before we start this video, I want to get the hugest shout out to my girl Fenna. Yesterday was her birthday, technically, because where she lives, September eleventh which is 9-11, was yesterday in her country. So happy late birthday, my friend. And this video is dedicated to her because she loves, absolutely positively loves Beauty and the Beast. She cosplays y'all, y'all. I swear she looks so much like Emma Watson in the live action Beauty and the Beast dress. Like, I'll link her Instagram down below and you'll see for yourself. She looks so beautiful, y'all. She's just so pretty in that dress. I want that dress so badly, but... I'm a little fat, but, um, maybe I can play her. I do have, like, kind of her hair. Okay, back to the video. So, today we are talking about Beating the Beast, obviously. And we're talking about what we don't know about Beating the Beast. So, I have my facts right here on my phone. And I'm going to read them off of my phone because this is kind of like a short video for her. And, um, I didn't want to write them. Write them down. So, let's get started. First fact is. Bella is, a, is one of the few princesses in her 20s. Now, this gives her so much. She's more mature. She's more intelligent. She's braver and stronger than she could ever be. She has more experience in life to teach her how to guide herself into life and how to just live life. And I love that well, if you're in your 20s, you know. You if you're a girl, if you're in your 20s, you know you don't need a man to fight your battles. You don't need a man to do anything. You don't need a man to, for your happiness. You can just be yourself and just live life for you. And I love that about Belle. I mean, yes, she fell in love because her emotions got the best of her, like me. But she could have lived her life on her own as a strong, independent woman. Preach! On to the next fact. Okay, next fact. Yes. Her character was inspired by Catherine Himborn Little Wind. It says there's a lot of Catherine Him Himburn Himburn Himburn. I don't think I said the name right. Screenwriter Linda Linda Wolverton told the the Angels Times though the character of Joe is more tomboyish than both. Were strong, active women who loved to read and wanted more than life was offering them. I want so much more than the provincial life. Ooh! I know, I know, Fena. If you if you get me, girl, you know what what I was thinking just now. I'm sending my thought vibes to you, girl. <laughs> and this is very very true. I mean, she is a little tomboy, but. Every tomboy needs a little girly inside of her. Am I correct, girls? I have a lot of tomboy friends. For example, my girl Diamond, Diamond Crystal Ruby... I forgot her username. Her username is so long, I keep forgetting. Diamond Crystal Ruby 45 AJ. She's my tomboy girl. She's literally my tom... She's literally total tomboy, but she still wears dresses. By the way, girl, I'm so buying a big dress when we're out of school. And, of course, like, I always encourage my tomboy girlfriends to be like, okay, I know you don't like dresses, but at least wear a little makeup. Because, I don't know, I like to encourage girls to get the girly side. And I can handle all my tomboy girls. Because I can't, I literally had tomboy friends since I was in elementary school. Every single friend of mine is tomboy, except for a few of them. And very few of them, they get my girly side, but... I have to be a tomboy to, in order to interact. Like, you know what I mean? Okay, back to the video. And this is a very true about being an, a, a, an active woman. As women, we have to set an example for Izzy's world. Not all boys need to be in charge. You, We can take it. We can literally do anything boys can do. And don't let any boy tell you otherwise. You have to stay strong. We girls can do so much more than boys can do. And I believe that's so strong. Girl power, I say, and I believe in girl power so much. Oh, I'm thinking of the song. Oh, single ladies, oh, single ladies. <laughs> That's my jam. That's truly my jam. I can't, I can't, like, every time it comes on, I start dancing. Yeah, I'm a crazy girl today. Okay, next fact. Miss Potts was originally going to be named Miss Chamomile. 
What did that fight? I'm so confused. What did that say? <laughs> I almost dropped my phone. Um, let's see. For Mrs. Potts, we originally tried to find the most soothing possible is as 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 touch. I don't know. I don't know how to read. And we came up with Miss Chamomile. Producer Don Hain he has said Chamomile is a very soothing herbal tea, but nobody could pronounce it. Me. <laughs> So Howard said, it, let's call her Miss Potts. Calling her Miss Potts was simple and it was easy to run with and kids could say it. It was the same for Lumiere. He was Chantal for a while. Chantal? <laughs> Can you guys imagine Lumiere being Chantal? <laughs> oh my god. Maybe the most ridiculous thing in the world. Like... Chantler, but became Lumiere because Lumiere is easier to say. And Lumiere is so much better. Lumiere, it literally reminds me of fire and light. But really, really Miss Chamomile from Miss Potts, that makes no sense. Like, imagine y'all. Miss Potts would be Miss Chamomile and then Chip. That would make no sense. Miss Potts, Miss Miss Potts, then Chips. Miss Chamomile, Chip. That would make no sense. But I guess it makes sense. Miss Potts is a very, very soothing woman, and she is like a little grandma to me. Number four, I believe, Ron. Belle is the only. Okay, this one is so easy. All of the, the, us Disney fans know this. Well, I don't mind I'm saying it, but I do want to say something about this. Belle is the only resident of her village who wears blue. Of course, everybody knows this. Every single Disney fan knows this. But what kind of. If you guys seen the Eliza. Beauty and the Beast. What kind of like let me down or disappointed is that that fact was not in the movie. Every, some people were in blue, which kind of let me disappointed because I love that about Beauty and the Beast. One of the things I love about Beauty and the Beast. But oh, um, I don't know. I guess things had to change. Kind of disappointed at the part. But in there list, I love that Beauty and the Beast live action. This one we also <clears throat> ooh love that. <laughs> And for this one, all of us know this one, Disney fans, you know me. The final dance scene where you used animation with Sleeping Beauty. And uh, it's obvious, y'all. I mean, <laughs> I already figured that out. I watched Sleeping Beauty and Beauty and Beast in one day. One time when I was little, I was like, huh, why, are they why do they look like the same? And, well, okay. Um, I know somebody on here that's gonna probably gonna hate me for this, but Sleeping Beauty wasn't my favorite movie. I mean, when I found out she had 18 minutes and 18 lines in a film, I was like, are you serious? That kind of ruined it for me, because I'm like, okay, what? It's called Sleeping Beauty, but it was mostly about the fairies, which I loved, because the little fairies are like little aunts, and I want to be a little aunt someday, <laughs> which I kind of already am. I'm already onto many of my little nephews. But, like I said, Disney was in early ages and that time, and uh, it's um 21st century, and uh, we made this face. See, in the movie, in Disney. That was a weird voice. <laughs> okay, next one. The prince's name is never mentioned in the movie. While the beast and thus the prince are main characters, they aren't named at all in the anime film. It was it wasn't until the Broadway musical that Disney announced the character as Prince Adam. Now, when I found out about Prince Adam's not an actual name, I'm like, wait, what? I was like, no, 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 it can't be. I mean, everybody calls him Prince Adam. And uh, when I found that out, I was just like, uh, am I missing something? Because I hate when I'm a Disney fan and I don't know something so obvious. Can you guys explain to me why people think that's not an actual name? Let me know in the comments if you guys know why. Okay, this eighth um, fact is she was almost a one line character. The rest of the character was supposed to be done by Jimmy Music Box that just played music as it related to scene. Bradley Pierce, ooh, I'm not sure if I said that right, who a voice chip has said, I think, I think. No, I like to think that it's from partly my performance for why they add lines. But the other part, it was that they really didn't have a child's window in the store. And I can't imagine being the for that little chip. Little chip is so cute. And I can't imagine what the, I can't imagine without this little guy right here. Oh, guys, hold on, hold on. I have to show you something. 
if you follow me on Instagram, and by the way, I might have two Instagram accounts because my phone restarted by accident. Accident. <laughs> so I'll have to see if I can put my Instagram on here, but if I don't, I'll try on the next few videos. Anywho, here is the little necklace I bought at Hot Topic. Oh my guys, look at his little face. How can you not have beating the beast without chip? Without chip, beating the beast just wouldn't be beating the beast. It just wouldn't be. You can't have this movie without a cute little character. You just can't. And I love this necklace so much. Yeah. Hold on, guys. There. Perfect. And anywho, where was I? Ugh, I'm that tired today, aren't I? Anywho, on to the next fact. Be Our Guest was originally sung by, sung to Marcy. Mar what? Not Belle. I can't say that one. Watch this clip for evidence that Belle's father was originally the one in the hot scene. Hold on, guys. That's all you're gonna get because I don't want to get copyrighted. That's very interesting, though. The father. That makes sense, though, because he, in live action, if you saw it, he was at the dinner table. He was getting some food. That makes sense, though. But be our guest wouldn't be the same, just as Chip wouldn't be the same without um, Lumiere singing it with singing with it. Sing to Belle because Belle is the star of our story. And and plus, like, I don't think it would just be. I would just. I don't think it would be that different. But it wouldn't be as fun because Ariel, not Ariel, <clears throat> Bell wouldn't have that. Not Bell. Excuse me while I collect my um thoughts in English right now. It wouldn't be the same as the father because well we wouldn't have that spark. We wouldn't have that cute little smile from Belle and. Everything just wouldn't be the same, Babel. Okay, I'm sorry if the facts are in. I'm sorry if the facts are all over the place in this video. I'm sorry. Oh, the story. This the story. This video is getting longer than I thought. Okay, this is the last fact I'm gonna say, and it says that she's also the first brunette Disney princess. Her pre preceder Snow White, Cinderella, Aurora, and Ariel had black, blonde, or red hair, making them the first princess of her kind. Which is very surprising, because everybody has brunette hair in our world. But in the Disney world, everybody is different. Which is the same as our world, but in our world, we have way more brown hair than any other color. Okay, that is it for Beauty and the Beast facts. Again, Fenna, happy birthday. I love you so much. And I'll see you all in my next video, my Disney Imagineers. Adios.